single one of you made this whole project possible and every one of you was an important peg in this whole in this whole frame in this whole thing it's not just few of you or you know uh, even the ladies even the ladies the, the moral support the first night that when they came on, on Thursday night when just a small group were here, I think 10, 10 or 12 people. We had our sister, Sister Annie, she was working till 2 o'clock in the night and helping helping the men. And she said, no, I don't want to go, I don't want to go and go to the hotel and rest or anything. I want to be with the men and help them. And she was a great support and she was a great uh, boost for all the men who were working there. Curacao is the best. So these five houses was an opportunity. So much impact this will have in this country. Today you see in Satsang, so many people was in tears. I never cried so much. My heart, I thought, was made of stone. But I realized even the stone here is a little bit soft, so it started to soften today. You know, so many wonderful stories. You all experience all the five houses that was built. Om Sri Sairam. You know, um, in this age, this Kali is one of the hardest times, they say, for most of man, when all the values start to get, you know, what you think is right, what you know is right, what you believe is right, and people outside here, 
doing things totally against that, and they still seem to have certain kind of authority and power that they believe maybe what is not right is right. This is what Kali Yuga is. And in a time such as this, when the altar has to make three appearances to uplift all of us on this earth, he needs to have certain individuals around to help in this very, very special project, in this very, very special mission. In one of the projects that we did in Trinidad, a pastor came, and the pastor said he came to try to help us. And when he saw and he looked on, he just saw angels building a home. And he said this was a miracle for him. Today we heard the, the young lady saying that what was done in the eastern corner of this island has uplifted the whole island. Each one of you who have come here and sacrificed to be here is a highly realized spiritual soul put on this earth in this time to uplift the whole of mankind. Realize that. Know your strength. Feel your divinity. Feel that love, that divinity inside of you. Have no lesser image than that. There will be people who will be, after, after we have gone, we wishing and praying that they could have been these who are here. So understand who you are, and what you are, and what your mission is, not just in and this individual we shall call first, and then we will, as soon as we call you, please try your best to come up and don't be afraid to say what is in your heart. Now is the time to say, now is the time for that love to come and to generate and to keep that divine energy going. So we'll start with Mr. Avinash. And this is my third time in Kerso. But why is Sadi Tamas out of when I was coming here? So I say, I ain't sure if I will get to come in Kerso. But I decide, I say it's one, one life. I say like, uh, one life. I decided like, I found my mother and tell she, I come in here, so you said, you sure what you're doing? Because they hold my cross here, I'm up two months. <laughs> <laughs> so I tell she, don't worry, I'll go ahead. So come and I enjoy it, and if it have a next chance, I will come again. So I'll come. Now you know they will lock you up again. <laughs> so, um, what I like to say is, everybody here is saying thanks to us for coming and doing these things, but we'd like to thank you all because if you didn't have the need for it here, and if you didn't, well, kind of request that we come, we would not get this opportunity to come. And um, it was very nice. We enjoy everything all it did for us. Um, you went out of way a lot for us. And um, I really had a good time. I showed all the fellas here. They were saying, like, they're not feeling like they come to work. like. If we work in Trinidad, I said this morning, like on a Sunday, when you reach home 12 o'clock, you, you have to sleep. <laughs> and like here we work in building two houses, going home, we don't want to sleep, we go in the beach, go in the pool, all kind of thing, right? So like, um, it, it didn't feel like work, it was fun, and it was a very nice experience. Sorry. 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 Sorry, everybody. <laughs> um, coming here was like a, a kind of hard experience for me. Not hard experience, a fun experience for me. And it's supposed to be hard and working and thing. But um, uh, the real thing that that inspired me when I was there and is watching the people and them after we leave and then when they speak, when they go inside and they see in their house and thing and they they running around and watching everything and really realizing it's their own and thing. It does just uplift your heart and just make you want to. Be grateful for the things that you have, and that is what I'm gonna strive to be. And um, I hope through Sai Baba and thing that I could reach that spiritual level. Sai Ram. Sai Ram. I can say, well, it was a good experience. When, I, when they asked me, I immediately said yes because I never went away to the Laos, I didn't get to go easy. So when I come, it was nice and like at every house, when you see the people react the way they reacted, 
it was real touching. And today, especially when the man went in, like the lady was the teacher and I think, and the man just sat down there, during prayers and cry. Who will such song? He just cry. So like watching in there, it make me feel like I'm uh, helping like other people as well as myself. So it helps. Brother Anand was National Saver Coordinator in Trinidad. Um, so I am grateful to be here. I am thankful very much to the Pajisai Centre for allowing me to come and assist. I'm also grateful to the Kirasawa Sai Centre to be able to come here and share this wonderful love with everybody. And it's a beautiful, beautiful experience for me and Annie. And we thank you very, very much. Sayon. Thank you. We have the eldest member of our group here, uh, a guy who always quickly volunteers and who seems to know much more than the rest of us. <laughs> and also very, very active in serving and giving of his time, his energy, his love. A guy who would come from quite penal to Paji, that's like a a one fifteen minutes drive to come to Satsang. So we'd like to hear if you watch him, please. Because I feel I cannot miss this trip because I went to Guyana with him, gone to India with him. I said, well, mm, can't miss this trip to um, <laughs> yourself. But it's a great experience that I got here with this um, Sewa team in from Curacao. The love that they shared for us, it was brilliant. There's nothing that we can complain about. And seeing the family, the condition of the family, how they were, and today, how they are feeling, I am I'm satisfied with that. Thank you, Sairam. Sairam, everyone. Last year, when we came 24th of November, just after Bhagwan's birthday, we came to this island on the invitation of the Curacao Sai Center. And when we got here, the warm reception and the love that they shared with us, and they took us to the various homes that we are building homes for this, this weekend, um, it was really touching. When we plan for the weekend to come here, you know, we have to be here, the, the, our group, our center, our devotees from all over other centers, the president, everybody was so happy because they know what it would have been to the members of this center. And we should thank you all for, you know, being here very early, preparing. I know it's a lot. It took a lot for me all. And it's the first time you say you had a project like this. But Brother Ashok, you know, you can continue. You have the experience now, you can continue, and I'm sure you will, to serve Swami in various forms, different forms of Seva. Sairam, and I thank you all. Sairam, um, I would just like to say thank you to everyone who was responsible for spearheading this project, for allowing me to be a part of it. Um, it was extremely enjoyable. I think it was a wonderful learning experience for me. That's about it. Thank you. Thank you. This is Brother Dana Rines. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to thank Mr. Dalvi and Mr. Danny Scott for doing that seva, for bringing me here to do this seva. Although, I feel even as a woman coming here, I feel I didn't get to do enough that I should have used my hands at least to do something in the house to put a nail or something there. Yeah. <laughs> to feel that, okay, yes, I will, I do something like that. You know, I feel like we didn't, I didn't do enough then for my own self. Mm -hmm. And this is gonna help me so much more because not only what I get here and back home too because mm -hmm. I go to so much sales that they done right and it's like you still can't understand how 
like in sometimes less than three hours to a house could finish right you don't ever get that anywhere else and we know it's because of Baba's grace but like the fellas them they will come they will just take up their, their tools and they will just go about doing what they have to do nobody arguing they wouldn't ask the other boy what you do yesterday or where you went or what your line you don't hear that whereas in a normal house building you will hear that everybody stand up talking first and then they will start doing everything so it's like something so different and like when I go back to work, I have all those as sales clerk. I just go and talk to everybody like if I see preach then said I'm Mr. Alvi. And I just be I think that is the only way you could get the message across to eh? Like, you know, sometimes they're not as fortunate as I am to be in a temple all the time and like doing this, these things. And you know, when you tell them what they're going through, then they, they're wondering, it really have people who in need like this and you could go and have fun and yet again, do all these things, and yes, look how much fun we have here. Well, I had lots of fun in our vehicle. <laughs> and thank you all again for allowing us, allowing me to come and do so much here and go back home. I have a whole lot to say when I go back home. <laughs> no, and she didn't want to speak, huh? So she... <laughs> she wanted to speak with her to give she like a questionnaire and what you know. Please remember. I just want to thank God for giving me this opportunity to serve the ones that are less fortunate because when I was a little girl, right, we didn't have much. I grew up in one room with my brother, my mother, my father. And when I was smaller, I, I, and I started to get older, I used to think, you know, I wish I could help others. And while growing like 11, 12, whatever, people will come and ask for help. And no matter what little that we had, I used to go in my mother cupboard and take up whatever she had and give up. Then my mother said, but how are you going to give away all the, all the grocery and whatever? But you know, when I was small, and I used to think, I wish somebody could just come, you know, and take me out of that state or whatever. But I'm glad that I am there now to help others. No matter what little, how small it could be. Because one day, you know, I was just listening to the TV or whatever, and you know what a pastor said? He said, don't matter whatever you do, you are not doing it for yourself. You are doing it because you are serving God. And that is what I want to say. Sorry. Sarah, you're very potent. Love energy, as you can see. So sometimes the ones who don't even want to speak are the ones with the most energy. Uh, we have um, a, a lot of uh, very, very pure energy. And we have a guy here who um, anything you tend to do at any point in time always does it to the best of his ability, Mr. Juma. <laughs> so, um, good evening, everybody. I would just like to... Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> everybody. I would just like to thank God for giving me this opportunity to be here. Because the beginning the first time I've been to Curacao. I also like to thank Mr. Davi and all because when he asked all who wanted to go, I wasn't sure about it and I ended up going down in the back and he come looking for me. <laughs> Just to make sure that I go in. And I know if I didn't come I wanna see how much love that everybody put into these houses and them. I'd just like to thank everybody. Sayram, um, friends, um, this has been an incredible journey for me. My personal feelings is that um, from the time I arrived at Curacao the airport, and the love that was in the atmosphere was un uncomparable. But as I said, it has been a tremendous journey, my friends. And with God's grace and God's blessings, I think that um, this journey has now started. Um, we have another individual who Every single project we do, 
whether whatever happens, he would be the one going there to make sure that the base is set up properly and that everything is done correctly and as neatly as it could be done. He had a little back problem and he said, no matter what, I am going and I will stay home or do whatever afterwards, but I need to go. Brother Raj, please. Salam, everybody. Just recently, I had a back problem, as Brother Sati said. So I went by this doctor by, by us, Dr. Amul Singh, who everybody knew him. And he said, boy, you like old 20, old 120, why your back bad and out of alignment? So I said, doc, what it takes to do it? He said, I combine me about five times. So all right. So a couple of weeks after Brother Sati called, he said, um, I want to go on a project with us. I said, I'm going to try. So um, I started my back end so well. What are we going to face? He said, I don't know where we're going. So I saw it. I, I tell my boy wife that time. I said, Babes, tell Sati, yes, I will go. <laughs> so um, not knowing what I'm going to face, I went by Dr. Molsing one time. Never go back. So back injury, give me word to Brother Sati already. So I say, whatever happened, I want the flight. To go. So um, here, when we was, not here, but in front of, while we was leaving, uh, Brother Sati gave me such a side speak. As I opened the book, it said, discover it, enjoy it. Sister Lynette could testify to that. So, First time in Curacao, I don't know what to expect. So we discovered it, we enjoyed it to the max. And here I am, fit as a fiddle, and I will go again. Siren. Thank you very much. Babes, can you feel? Oh, I mean, <laughs> sister, sister Colleen, she is my little cousin, by the way. So I could call her babes. So Sister Colleen, can you speak? You know, we go bring the mic there. We go encourage her. Come now, girl. Look at all the meeting fair. Pass us. Look, Aunt Jenny, get up and talk to. Look, they're sending the mic fair, but we are going to see you. Guys, we have a guy here who helped uh, build up all the, home, um, the homes in Trinidad. Up to now, you have the papers in the pocket there. Eh? You have papers with every single home. I wish for the room supposed to be. I wish for the room. Sayo. Yeah. Asa na pinch match. Alright. Back home, we talk about 150 guys, and there's nothing but everybody here. I know the guys in the back. And I feel like I'm home. Because at the end of it all, when this opportunity presented itself to me, Home. I didn't want to slip away for nothing. Right? Right now, we have grown and in front of these lovely leaders, souls here. It's still unbelievable to believe that we have reached, my life has changed dramatically. A lot of us here as well, right? I came into <coughs> knowing these guys when I was a youth, if you want to call it that. And I thank Swami for guiding me from a very early age in my life. Because I'm sure I would have been lost in society. And through Swami's grace, I connected with these guys here and I've made a deal with myself and my God that once I could breathe air and my physical could move and these opportunities come along, I'm going to grab them as they come in. Right? I'm not going to let nothing slip. I've warned my wife <laughs> and I even tell my kids, the baby can't even talk as yet and I tell her as well that I live in for this and this only. Money, cars, houses, doesn't matter to me. What matters to me 
there's my connection that is why I'm here and once I have life we have connected with all these great people here in Curacao we're from Trinidad and I, I feel like you know we connected no matter we don't know any names we can't even speak the language but the language I love was inside my heart it connected with the, everybody in Curacao the family is there right what so nobody couldn't get me to cry when I was growing up I was hard like anything right and since I'm in connection with these souls here I just free to talk <laughs> because it's getting emotional and our duty is everybody we come in contact with wherever in the world once we can teach some good values to make this world change and become a better place that is my duty here on this earth and, and it was very enjoyable to me and you know i just want to thank Bhagwan Shri Satya Sai Baba for giving me the opportunity to join this for giving me the opportunity to even do this spread the love and i want to say a special thanks to the, the cyber organization of Curacao so you know <laughs> Now we go to the next youthful member of the team. This fella does not miss a sewer. This guy will travel from, let me tell you how he has to travel. He has to take, he has to walk about 10 minutes, then take one taxi to, uh, to from Freeport to Shagonas, then take a next taxi from Shagonas to uh, Kirup, then take a next taxi from Kirup to Tunupuna to reach to Satsang. And then when Satsang is finished half past eight, he doesn't even bother to ask anybody who is going in that direction, he will just go and find his way back home. This young man is trying very hard to repel or pull a high spiritual standard. Well, we see. Just by mistake, Quilter transport a frame because they had problems transporting that frame. And when I went to that project, that first project, that was we we in the country, Kaparu or something. And I saw all these guys, they, 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 they take the Sunday off, Sunday morning off, went, worked. As, as they reached on the project, they worked. They worked hard. Nobody... And, and again, a lot of fun, eh? Nobody, they, they didn't even study what he was. We have breakfast, so, you know, it gets in late to anything now. The distance these guys went, they went, and, and they're working right through, eh? Monday to Saturday, they're working. They give up their Sunday morning to do this. I tell myself, I say, you know, if these fellas are now working all week, and they do this, and I just, just do transport, I had, a, I had a start doing this. And Mr. Dalby, he changed me. He changed my life. He made me a better person for my family. And I will, I owe Mr. Dalby the greatest honor in the world. Because of him, I was introduced to Cypher. Because of him, I'm Mr. Sati, but he's an angel. <laughs> I thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, brother. Again, very, very true. Mr. Dinerine, you spoke already in one of the projects. I remember, and remember now, Mr. You didn't really speak, yet, so make up your mind and come back to you. I remember when you came out and you showed your head and like that, and you gone. Right. Now, we have a guy again, very, very active in this. All of these guys are actually active, very full of love. Huh? Uh, Mr. Brandon Marat, please. <laughs> Brandy, Brandy. Brandy. Somebody when they say, they say, this Brandon Marach. <laughs> so yeah, this Brandon Marach. <laughs> I don't need that, but you know me. Trinidad, Arch Center. I will have to thank 
If it wasn't for them, nothing here would have been possible. We would not be here right now doing this. The five house would not be able to be built. We would not get the way house. We would not get three quarters of the things that we, we get. So I just want to thank them and tell them we appreciate it and hope them continue doing the work that we do this weekend throughout in Curacao and continue the house building for themselves when we leave. Sam, thank you. Brother Martin, just the same way as we strive for excellence in the homes, we encourage you to strive for excellence in your life and never hold on to any fault. Uh, we have a guy who is always active with us in every single project that we do. Um, Brother Raj, Brother Raj Piaralal. Um, first of all, let me thank Mr. Sati here for inviting me on this project. When he called me at work, I just grabbed the opportunity and I told him yes. It was one of the most remarkable things I ever experienced of course here, beside me back at home. And I have to thank him very much and all the other side members. Sir. Thank you. Short and very, very full of love. We have a guy who would call me and say, where are we going next? What helped me next? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah so this is one day. You ain't doing any of this. What going on with you? Um, so he just keep in watch to make sure that we keep at it. <coughs> Brother Victor, please. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Sir, I don't know why you called my last night. Everybody said everything already? Mm -hmm. Not last. But I feel like last night, but to me, everybody said everything already. But from my personal experience, it's always an honor and a privilege and a blessing to help anybody in, in need of help. The people that say, boy, we're going to put off this Sunday, we're going to go next Sunday. You always have to look at the chance. I had a little accident, a little while back, and I was down for a while. And I said, in my mind, I said, I said go on. When my uncle is a good father, go, go back and do something. I get a chance, and I intend to miss none. Sorry. Yeah. Let me explain a little bit about this guy we just said. And building one of the homes, a uh, power saw cut across his hand, ripped it. And that hand, they had to put in steel into the hand and do multiple surgeries to get it back to a functioning level. And a lot of people thought, you know, this happened to him whilst he was building a home and, you know, he would not do that again. And all this guy ever wanted to do, let my hand work again so I can serve again. This is the power of these individuals. We have a guy who is in the house building with us, but we don't see him building the houses. But if it wasn't for him, we would not have had the houses on site to be built. So he's one of the background guys, and he hiding behind a fella in the back of everybody, but I could see him still, Mr. Sipasad. <laughs> Hello everybody. Yeah. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank Baba for um, giving me the opportunity to be here. Right. And next day again, 95% of these fellows, I'm sure, is not carpenters. We build in houses. Just imagine that. Right? I was, when, when they say that um, we are the chosen one to come here, right? Um, I was looking at the things that, the little things, when it says miracles, 
how people is work. I know where everything is happen. Just when I talk to Anand, he's an electrician. He's they send him in the warehouse with me, with Martin, and he doesn't have four clips. <laughs> <laughs> now it's not an ordinary job to drive a forklift. For people who know about a forklift, a forklift can take up a four by four pallet with thing. He had to take up a four by eight, and he's an electrician. <laughs> so just imagine, and it was on steady ground. If people who visited the warehouse would know. They come off, and they had a in front. I said, "Why are you taking it All right, <laughs> right. So it was uneven, and to lose it on the truck, I think it was a little, you know, thing. And with Baba's grace, I mean, everything was so smooth. No accidents for people who are not carpenters doing carpentry work, right? And this was so amazing to see everything, right? So thank you everybody again. Oh, okay. This one was a little miracle. I noticed that. The colors, not I said, I'll give my paper, but the colors are the houses. We went to drop off this first house, and well, two of the houses, the people didn't have houses, they just had the um, furniture. So this, the second house we went to drop, the palace house that people that only nobody the palace house, right? Mm -hmm. Now, she, it was a jade green, I had paper in the pocket, and the house we dropped there was the exact same jade green mm -hmm. on this color house. So Baba, in his way, she liked the color she house, and Baba sell a jade green house with her, and this was painted in Trinidad. <laughs> now today, if you all notice, the house that this Emily got, was the house she was living in, right? The pink, it was the same exact color. Again. Right? For those who noticed it, I did. <laughs> and it was, that, that was a little amazing thing. Right? Sayam. 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 I am not a speaker, but um, what could I say? Well, every, everybody thought I was my son, but I don't know my son. <laughs> because anyway, you say, um, Look my father here, you understand? And they, I think the, the whole the whole group here understand that I'm his father, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> what I am saying, well, when he told me that I'm, I'm into Curacao, because I do a lot of siwa at the um, sign I am going to cut the grass, anything they ask me to do, you know, I make my time and go, and actually that um, I never fault in what I do, what I, what I am doing, I am doing for the love of Swami, and actually that, um, you know, um, anything Aaron has to do, um, bird, come, let's go. And I, up to now, I never disappoint him. So actually, we together, everybody think that Aaron is my son. Om Si Sayam. 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 this is one guy you should never disappoint. <laughs> We have a very small individual here who immediately jumped at the chance to come. He left his little son, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Vishnu. I'm not a nickname here for you. Let me call him by your right name. Mr. Vishnu, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sir. Uh, well, well. Yeah. yeah, we're all well. <laughs> and everyone did say we will be doing making miracles. I engineer said yesterday he didn't believe what he just see, but at the end of the day. We don't really do it. We just the instruments playing the part. And once I get the opportunity to play the part, I take it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I really like to say. Assalamu alaikum. The most I could say is thank Allah for all the opportunity you have given us. And that's all. We're asleep. <laughs> 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 At least we can take move from day to day faster. Sarah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
पांच में से सात ही से सेवा ऐसे ही है मान लाइज़ो नाइटी डेट इस लिटरली ट्रू लिटरली ट्रू ये जैसे सेवा राइट टाइस इट नो अदर वर्ड्स हैव नथिंग एस मोर इम्पोर्टेंट नथिंग एस मींस एनीथिंग एक्सेप्ट टू सर्व विथ लव and to serve to the best of their ability. They sometimes they don't even know where they're going, who they're going to. Which part it is? Um, well, when we pick you up, we go reach, right, okay. That's it. And they go on. And this is love. This is love in action. We had a brother here who, Brother Omar, who was here up there yesterday. And he was crying when he had to leave, but he had to leave because of circumstances back home. And I'm sure he would have loved to be here um, up to this point in time as well, you know, so um, let me mention him and Brother Ganesh and his two nephews left and Brother Kelvin also. They had, well, different flights, so these guys have already left. So we'll have two speakers and we'll close. We'll have Brother Chandra and after Brother Dalvi, um, just before, sir, you know, the love that we feel from you guys here, from every single one of you here, is truly divine. Uh, make, make no mistake about that. You may be a small group of people here, but you definitely have Swami's love and energy with you. And the way you, you move all, every single thing that you could possibly move to be able to make sure that we get whatever we want. Whenever we could, you just have to make a mistake and say something and there it is. I mean, that is really, really divine love. Brother Martin, Brother Felipe, the Don, <laughs> Brother Chandra, Brother Ashok, and all the other sisters from the group. Um, you know, we that love, that inspires us as well. And that keeps us happy, just knowing the kind of strength we have here. So without you guys, nothing here could be done. And at the end of the day, it is because of your love for Swami that Swami allowed us to be able to be here. Because in all the countries of the world, this is one that we are in. And that is because of the divine love that you guys have, the purity that you have, and the very simple and humble manner that men of your stature carry yourselves about them. That is the way to live. Right? So, Brother General, Simon. Sayonam, everybody. Uh, there was so much energy, so much inspiration derived from your people today. We had so much to learn. I had thought my life has changed, but it has changed further. I told him, look, identify the homes, they'll be coming. Martin said, yeah, but how is possible? How can they come? How, how can you build a home, four homes in two and a half days? It's not possible. How will we do it? Look, if not, if Baba, didn't want. Baba knew we have capable people here. Mr. Martin, Mr. Philippe, Don, they worked so hard. Sita, ever ready to work. My wife, who is not a science devotee, you know, she cooperated in every way, never making me feel that it's not possible. Brother Dalvi is very serious about anything he says. In the future, I'll never take him for granted. <laughs> very, very particular, when he tells me something, I better do it. He was here with the whole group, going to the homes, and the message is imparted to those recipients. I don't know if they learned at that moment, but it definitely changed my life and my wife's life, Tina. We learned so much, so much. This time is not enough to speak about it. But it did change our lives and 
made us feel that this small group of barely eight or ten devotees can handle this. And he told me we'll be about 20, 20, 25 people coming. And a week later when he said, we are about 63 of us, I told everybody there are 63 people. So are you sure you heard it right? <laughs> Is it 36 or 63? <laughs> it was, it was, it could be an excuse that it was a house building, but believe me, it built us. It built us totally from within. And we see the seva, the word seva, from a totally different angle. What we had in Baba's birthday, 80th birthday, 80 years, love in action. This <coughs> is what love in action is all about. Pure, pure, pure divine love, we noticed. It was really a transfer. I've been asked, I was asked by Sister Sita that she wanted to say a few words. So I would like to let her say a few words. Once again, thank you very much for giving us this opportunity to come, you know, coming to Kurosawa, building these homes for the poor people and building our lives. Thank you so much. Sign up. Saira, first of all, it's not a few words of myself, it's a few words for my group, for the Seva Dads of Pura South. So first of all, my home friends, to my Lord, our Lord, Bhagavan Shri Sathya Sai Baba. Thank you, Swami. Nothing, because when the government gives them a house, they must pay a rent every month. So it's unbelievable that they're getting a furnished house and they don't have to pay one gilder for it. And thank you, Mr. Dalvi. Thank you very much. You know what I mean. Thank you, thank you very much. Sayaram. Right. Do you now like to give the mic to Pastor Dalvi? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else who wants to get married? <laughs> In house. <laughs> Thank you, Hashi, for coming. Beloved Lord, respected elders, brothers and sisters, sire. Don't look for no return. If you should get a return, that's your grace. If you should get licks, that is your grace. It is your karma. Enjoy it. And so many have heard and seen that. So Ami says, it's either you enjoy this life or you don't play with him and you end the joy in your life. And he puns on enjoy, and joy. So you have to enjoy the game. That, and a team of four people, we wouldn't call their names. You could try to figure out two of them. We have met, we have sat, and let me recall one of them. And by coming together, just four people have animated because of energy and got 68 angioplasties done in two weeks. So what is this matter if it's one man? Who was Gandhi? Don't ever feel you're small, you have become small. Swami wants us to expand to fullness. I know each individual soul is full. All is God. 
Why are we saying, even as a group, we're still small? It shows that our minds are making us feel that we are weak. That is also a flaw. You have to know, each one of you have the potency to change the whole of Curacao. And that is what you have to learn through this experience. How to animate people? This is what you're learning. How much time I quarrel with Brother Chandro, how I know him. Occasionally we will meet, and because of his love I am attracted, I will go and meet with him. Just hug him and we go on. But he doesn't know how much I know of him. Now he knows. And I will quarrel. Did you call him Muslim man? Did you call the other man? Why didn't you call your friends? Did you forget to call them? And of course he's probably doing the same thing where you do and say, yeah, yeah, call them. <laughs> sure I call them. <laughs> but you see, so many tasks are there. And I see that he's trying to hold all the work for himself. Sometimes. Because he why he's not giving some of the work. All these things, they are planned. So one, understand that how everything that happens, you are doing it to please God. The most important duty we have in this world is to be the best devotee. Because if you, each one of us try to be the best devotee, automatically we'll be the best sister, the best brother, the best wife, the best everything. You know? Someone, so many different uh, things were fixed, you know, and so many things we still seem to be fixed. But you all, with your sharpened intellect now, will see what needs to be fixed. Fix as you see. Don't leave it to somebody else to come and tell you what to fix. They want to hear how the houses are built. How can a house be built? Oh, we know the answer. We do them. And we know it's not we, certainly. All of us know it is him. Yeah. But how did we achieve this? This is not happening no way in this universe. It has never happened before. It is a new phenomenon. And my wife, as usual, is saying, time is up. So I'll stop here. Oh, yeah, that's my call. So the next time you come, all right, I'll finish. <laughs> We build these houses. We build them because of our duty to our God. We don't build a house to say we build in a house to say we build two hundred. People say, how much house will they build? I say, we're not interested in a house. We're not interested in how much wheelchair we get, how many medical camps we do, how much, how much places we have served. We only have interest in lifting souls. Which is what we're doing here. Look at you. Your whole life is changed because you just see a miracle. And you can't get rid of us from your mind. Because Baba's made us very tricky. <laughs> and you're in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> and the only way to get rid of you, me from your mind now, you will have to clean up what it is I'm telling you to clean. So this is two nice things going to happen. One, two. That is, all of us have that connect with God already. Yeah. So when we build a house, we learn that from our father. I must mention my father, Mr. Paladi La. What is your role in this upcoming drama of the cleansing of this world? All you know? Connect with your God however you wish. And do more. Don't waste time. Every time we go to build a house, and we say that guy three mantra, we call on the universe. We build our houses because Swami taught us if your heart is pure and your motive is good, listen to those two things. This is the reason you have to stop. If your heart is pure and your motive is good, there is nothing you cannot achieve. To get a pure heart, you have to have pure mind. To get a pure mind, you have to stop putting faith in if you have a pure heart and you have a good motive, you will achieve anything in this world. 
we don't build house. The very universe, the reason for being, this love that you're feeling now, this is why we build houses, to lift souls, to look back ever. And anybody who wants to judge us, everybody was there. <coughs> we're going and we're going to fly, and people will try to pull you. All how? You only watch where the light is. And you walk towards that light. And that light is going to cover you so much. I don't care in my life who battled me. I may have a fault. Swami says, is somebody here feeling like I'm talking too much? <laughs> right? It is because they're out of tune without the answer. <laughs> because the souls here are being lighted now. How many discourses have you listened to? And then went back and we cannot talk much more longer. But what we want you to do, immediately after this exam, as much as possible, whatever talk you have to talk, let it be about God, how to change something. Don't talk about where you want to do tomorrow. Don't talk about where you're doing next week. Don't talk about who, part of who. Talk about good things. And keep this energy and use it for God's reason. Thank you for having us on behalf of the whole group and the Satisai organization in Trinidad and Tobago. The love we have felt. Let's see if I could feel more. The love we have felt is what we expected. We know when Swami plan a project, we have to be perfect. We know we can't take no shortcuts. We know. So I put something there, and all I already want to get vexed. And I'm thinking, should they get vexed? Why should we care? Because it didn't come from me. So I want to see what Olive going to give. When Swami gives you something, don't dare give it to back to You better use it for his work. So this is, if you can't, take it back. You start your next project with this. That is all. So on behalf of our group, thank you. Let <coughs> say thank you how many times, ma'am?